Good morning. What are you doing? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Good morning. Can you say hi? No? You gonna see grandma today? Grandma's back from the Virgin Islands. You see grandma today? What are you doing? Can we get you changed? Whoa. You're a little violent this morning. Um, okay. Okay. I'm sure they're loving that. Can we stop now? Yeah, lollipop? I don't think so. Not at eight in the morning. Are you gonna vlog today? <laughs> you are doing so good at vlogging. Say hi. No. All right, say bye bye. No. Say bye bye. Yeah. Wait, you wanna say hi? Horrible, huh? So in case anybody wants to know why I always have my hair in a ponytail, it is because this is what my hair looks like naturally. <sighs> I took a shower this morning and I let it air dry. This is what you get. And it takes a lot of time to do anything else to it because it's not like straight, but it's not curly. It's just, you can't even call this like beach wave. Like, I don't know. It used to be pretty curly and frizzy, obviously, but like now I kind of feel like after my pregnancies, it's starting to grow in straight because you can see like this part is straight, but then like you go over here and like, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on anymore. Like my hair just doesn't make any sense to me after having children, right? After having you guys, I don't know. Your hair is curly. Your sister's hair is curly. Your daddy's hair is curly. Your mommy's hair is whatever this is. I don't even know. Whatever this is considered. This is what I get to deal with all the time. It'd be nice if it just went straight. I'd be happy with that. I don't like the frizz, but that's what you get. Hashtag mom. Hashtag mom life, right? <laughs> Hashtag mom life. What do you think? I don't know. Welcome to my hair. Welcome to my life. So now it's just up in a ponytail with no hairspray and lots of frizz. So, I said before, like, oh. what are you guys doing? Hi. Um, I lose like a bunch of hair. So like, now it's all growing back. Like this is all hair that I lost after the pregnancies, both pregnancies, and it's like just now starting to grow back. So now I've got like all these tiny little frizzy things. Oh, being a mom is a lot of fun. All right, so we had some time to kill. I went into um, Giant because it's really close to my chiropractor, and then I had to make it back out to the highway out here, and I passed the butcher shop, which is what you see here with the Big Oak Cafe. So I got this lovely, peach mango tea or orange mango tea so good i feel bad for everybody in the rest of the world that doesn't live here who can't get this and then i also got my um side caesar salad which doesn't look like much of anything but guys their dressing is like super fantastic so i asked for extra dressing but i don't think i got it unless that's like a double thing anyway and then i stole a bunch of forks because i always steal forks and then i put them in my car when I go to places like Chipotle and you get takeout and they don't give you any forks when you order takeout. Like who does that? If you order takeout, don't you think they should like already automatically put utensils in your takeout? Anyway, 
Um, so I am going to eat that when I get there. I have about an hour and 20 minutes. It takes about an hour to drive there to my doctor. And let's see if I can get out of here because this place is packed. If you live in this area or you have ever been here, somebody who knows me and or family or friends and you live in this area or my guard kids, you know what this parking lot at the butcher shop in Big Oak Cafe is like at any time of the day. Any time of the day. It is freaking insane. So, all right, anyway, we are headed to the doctor's appointment. Hopefully we have a better one than the past two, but I don't even know anymore. I'm tired and my head hurts, so. All right, let's go. Crap, I need gas. Dang it. <laughs> all right, let's get gas and then go to the car, or OB. I'm telling you, baby brain and tired, not a good mix. Oh my gosh, guys, so I think this is hysterical. So, um, my appointment went pretty well. I have to go get some blood work done for um, Down syndrome testing and all of that stuff. Um, I had the first part of the tests run, but they need me to go do blood work to rule out like Down syndrome and stuff like that. Um, so, I have to go over to the hospital and do that. And then um, they gave me um, paperwork on childbirthing classes. Um, and I declined them. Now we took them the first time with Maddie when I was pregnant with Maddie, because we knew that I couldn't have an epidural. It was something that we knew like before I actually got pregnant that I couldn't have an epidural. Um, so we wanted to do the childbirth classes just to make sure we understood everything. And there was a section on there about how to like survive unmedicated labor. Um, so anyway, but there's like all these different classes that you can take. Like there's a refresher class and there's like a series that's six weeks long. Um, there's a condensed class, like all these different things that you can do. And um, I declined it, one, because I've already had two kids. But the best part, like the funniest reason as to why I'm declining this is because the class actually lasts way longer than it takes for me to have a baby. Is that crazy? Um, my first came in six hours and my second came in four hours. The class is six hours and they're expecting this one, depending on how I'm induced this time, if I'm induced with Pitocin and stuff, they're expecting somewhere between two to three and a half hours from zero centimeters to baby this time. I'll have a baby and half the time it takes for that class to happen. So I'm probably not going to take the class. Um, all right, so now we're going over to the hospital. It's just right across the street. We're gonna go over there. I'm gonna get this blood work done. It, um, like I said, it tests for like Down syndrome and all kinds of other things like that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not like stressed out about it or anything. I've had to have it done with my other two as well. Um, and so it's just kind of a procedural thing now. Um, and you can decline to have it done. You don't have to. Um, and a lot of people ask like if it comes back positive what I get rid of the baby or anything and like no absolutely not I love 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 kids and people with Down syndrome they're like the happiest people on the planet they are so sweet um, and I would never ever give up my child or get rid of it or <laughs> anything because it tests positive for Down syndrome and I am getting my master's degree in special education so that would be like a really horrible thing for me to do and I would love this baby just as much as I would love any of my other kids or anybody um so it doesn't stress me out but I don't really think I'm like at that high of a risk for it um but let's drive over and get the blood work done and we will see the results later so cross your fingers Alrighty, so that is done and I know this video is like so far mostly me in the car but um I thought I'd tell you about everything else so um I got my blood work done which was fine I got two more tubes drawn so far I'm at like eight tubes or something this pregnancy um in case anybody wants to know I know some people are curious about how much blood you have to get drawn and I'm keeping a running 
total of how much I get done so that I can talk about it at the end. Um, but the doctor had trouble finding the baby's heartbeat and um, I think they usually like do it on the other side and she was doing it on this side. Um, so it took like a really long time. I thought for sure I was going to be sent down for an ultrasound, which I had just felt the baby move. So like I knew that it was there. Um, and so she's like feeling around and she can't seem to find it anywhere. And then she finally gets it for like a second and then it stops. And we're like, okay. So she's like searching around again, can't find it, can't find it, can't find it. And then she gets it and it stops. And so basically she would get it and then, you know, basically just told me that my kid is squirmy and likes to move, which I already knew because like, my other two were the same way. Maddie was so bad. Um, Kaylee's not as bad, but Maddie was awful. And so this one has been moving around a lot, but basically as soon as she would get the heartbeat, it would like kick and go someplace else and then she would lose the heartbeat. So she was like really, really searching hard for it. But they eventually did get it and it was the high 140s, low 150s. Um, so which is the lowest heart rate that my kids have ever had. Um, my other two were pretty high most of the time and most people think that this one is a boy so that would fit if you're one of those people who go based off the heart rate which I know it's not accurate at all but there's a lot of people that seem to think that it is so time will tell but it's probably a boy that's kind of what everybody's thinking but only time will tell and we will not know until June 22nd. Hi, is it good chocolate milk? Kaylee Ann. Is it yummy? Yum. What about you, Maddie and Daddy? You all have chocolate milk. So do you. No, I have iced tea. Uh, unlikely story. I do. That's chocolate milk. We all know it. I don't think so. That's chocolate milk. I've done something wrong. I guess you did something wrong because it's chocolate milk. Yeah. I'm a chocolate milk. <laughs> I'm a chocolate milk. Well, if it was a contest, Maddie won. Mm. What do you want? More chocolate milk? More chocolate milk. Look at KK. You're a mess. KK, is it good? What do you want for dinner? Chocolate milk. What do you want for dinner? What did you say earlier? Hot dogs and beans? Hot dogs and beans. Hot dogs and beans? Hot dogs and beans. So what you want for dinner? Hot dogs and beans? Daddy's having chili. Mommy's having and chili. And maybe a little bit of ham salad. A ham salad. Do you want hot dogs and beans? Hot dogs and beans. Hot dogs and beans? Hot dogs. Is it good? Maddie isn't even sitting here after begging for hot dogs and beans. Here's mine. I mixed in some cheese and some sour cream. Get some cheese. Get some cheese in there. Okay. Fancy, fancy. Is it good, KK? Yeah. 